Hey everyone, Jaren here from Resource Magazine and today I want to talk to you guys about a hard drive from G Technologies. This guy right here, this Thunderbolt G Drive EVATC. Now, G Tech has told me that this sucker is capable of handling quite a bit of pressure. It's supposed to be waterproof, shock resistant, I guess not 100% waterproof, water resistant to a degree. And one of the videos they did when they launched this was showing this out on a beach in a really high weather situation, lots of blowing sand, lots of water, and it was supposed to protect the drive on the inside. So I've seen a couple reviews, and rather than just dunk this in a sink or maybe throw it across the room or throw it in my bathtub, I thought I would actually take this out and use it in a situation that seemed more realistic. I don't think in any shooting situation am I going to hold this underwater in my sink. What's more likely is I'm going to drop it in the ocean while attempting to do a shoot outside on location. So without further ado, let's go throw this in the ocean. Okay, so I actually haven't opened this. I haven't done anything to it since taking it out of the water. And I can still see bits of sand in there. There's some caught on the inside if you wanna see that. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about this for a couple of reasons. Sand and salt suck. They get everywhere. And I can see some on the inside lines right here inside of the drives, little gaps. Um, just about everywhere. I even see like bits of like, maybe is that, is that glass? I don't even know. But if this thing still works after the beating I just put it through, which was a little bit more than you just saw in video, I also threw this against a rock and banged some sand out of it because it got kind of dirty against the side of a truck. So let's see if it still works. I got my computer right here and I put on this a considerable amount of data before I threw it in the water. So we'll see if it's all there and still accessible. Okay, so here we go. Let's plug her in and try and not get sand absolutely everywhere. That little plug seems to have worked. It doesn't appear to be any sand or dirt on the actual socket of the Thunderbolt. Let me plug this in, move my podcasting mic. All right, here we go. The little light is turning on on the drive. It's appearing on the desktop. And it's all there. That's really impressive. So the footage I have on here, besides two files from last week's podcast, are a bunch of stuff that I took while shooting with RGG EDU. And these are all just some of the time lapses I did with my buddy Mike Wilkinson. And this was for their Eric Almas tutorial. So I appear to have access to everything. Like, this is good. As far as I'm concerned, That worked. I'm actually a little bit surprised considering how much pressure I put this thing under and the fact that it was a real world situation. This thing is a completely 100% okay. Um, I do recommend letting it dry off first before putting it into the computer or pulling the plug, the little rubber stopper out of the Thunderbolt. But yeah, if you want a drive that is absolutely near indestructible and can totally handle being thrown in the ocean, multiple times and dragged through the sand, banged against a rock, and then expect to get your data off it, I don't think I can think of a drive that's better suited to the task. Good job, G-Tech. It actually worked.
For the full written review, make sure you head on over to resourcemagonline.com and to pick one of these suckers up, you can probably get it at Amazon, B&H, G Tech directly, Adorama. They're all viable sources. That's, I, I'm sorry guys, I'm actually really impressed. I didn't think this was gonna work.